tonight. So the top four finishers of each of these two heats will get their point average spots for the feature. We're going green. You need to get back from the fence there, Junior. That's your kid, reel him in. Too late, the yellow light's on. Uh oh, the handcuffs are going on Junior there. Great race for the number one spot, Jerome Gio on the high side in the 48. The 39 of Sean Toon is getting after it on the low side. Again in turn four, Scott Greer in the 5G has moved from sixth up to third. Greer up to third, and he's not done yet by the look of it. We're halfway through, four down and four to go. And looks like Greer's found a little traction on the bottom in one and two. That allows him to get pretty close up on the back bumper with 39. loses the handle just momentarily and that allows Scott Greer to slip into the number two spot in the 5G. Two to go this time and Greer's looking at the leader. He wants to get up there. He's got a lot of ground to cover and they're coming around to the last lap this time. So We'll see if Greer's got what it takes to get up and challenge for that number one spot. The car looks good. He goes lower than Gio, and he has found some traction down there. What a race coming off of turn number four. They're on the white flag. This is their last shot at it in turn three and four. Down to down, turn four. It's going to come down to the wire. The winner, Jerome Gio in the 48. Second spot goes to Scott Greer in the 5G, third to the 12 of Tony Casey. Boy, that was an outside, the national champion for Wazota in A Modifieds, the Emory Demolition 10W is Ward Emory. Ward Emory in the 10W starting dead last in heat number two in the Wazota A Modifying Division. Now up to fourth in the 10W is McRae in the fast forward up front. <coughs> Dustin Wall right to the top of the racetrack in the 74 car. One of Rick Delane right there in the third spot. to go here. Look at Dustin Wall. He's got a run on the outside of the nine now down the back straight over the Altos. Wall Brothers Racing 74 has some speed. Wow. Great job by Dustin Wall. The Altos, Eric Lee, Wall Brothers Racing 74 started on the pole and is back up to the number one spot. Ward Emery now taking a run at the run of Rick Delane inside of turn number three. Emory Demolition 10W sticking well down there and now on the back bumper of the nine car. Great racing here in heat two in your Wazota A Modified division. We've got debris on the racetrack and the yellow flag will come out. 
to tail until you pass that orange cone. 74, 9, 10, here we go. side of the nine trying to pass two guys on this lap and Emory is going to do it. Emory Demolition 10 also sponsored by Miller Racing Engines goes into the second spot. So it is Dustin Wall followed by Emory then McCray, Delane and the 92 of Bronk. That is a tough heat race. Wow. The 74. Flag is out, run to go. Well, Ward Emery in the 10W started six in this one. He is your leader, the nine having a great battle with the one R of Rick Delane. And check on flag for Ward Emery, second. The Santana Kennels nine, then the one, the 92, and the 25. It is time to go racing for the exclusive truck and RV wash in Headingley. Six cars. Oh, holy cow. Scott Blair, the 5G, he gets inside on the Ford and he moves to fourth place. Oh, look at that straightaway speed on that number nine. But the five of Scott Blair does a better job through the corners. He's inside on the 48 of Gill. Tunis a little bit having trouble keeping that car on the bottom of the racetrack. And if that, uh, that could be where his cousin Justin gets him back. Look at that. He's right inside him. Coming down the front straightaway. And he can get in there lower. Justin's may have to give him a little kiss on the left rear. in hot pursuit of the 92. Oh boy, what happened? All the while that's going on, keep an eye on the 48, 5, and 10 because this one's anybody's race. Here we go.
the lane in the one R down at the bottom of turn number four. Didn't see if he had help or not, but boy, you don't see him spin out too often. Or something that obviously out of place, they wouldn't have let him come back out, but you never know. We're going back to green. <laughs> Justin Brown with right front trouble. I'm not sure if it's a flat tire or a broken component, but in any event, he is uh, heading to the pit area. Last week's winner will not repeat. He's gone to the pit area. Although his cousin is showing the way around the racetrack, but look at the traffic behind him. First place, the 39. Second, the 48, the third is the five, the fourth is the 10, and all three of those cars from second through fourth are MB Custom race cars. to the lead. S Scott Breuer at second. The three MBs are now one, two, three. Oh, one, two, four. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, four. Oh, one, two, one, two, three. Jerome Gio showing the way in the 48 car. Nine laps are made. Gio running the high side of the racetrack where nobody else is. Scott Greer on the inside and looks like he's got him by a wheel. Drag race down the front straightaway. Gio, holy mackerel, how close is that? And while that battle rages on, there's the national champion behind him looking for a little slip up on somebody's part. He's going to slide right between them. Greer's your new leader coming down the front straightaway. Scott Greer continues to lead at the Rod Fair Racing Napa Supply 5G. Greer and the 5G is doing a nice job, but he's got the national champion on his back door. With five laps to go, this is anybody's race. Emory goes to the high side, which is rare. Very rare to see Emory run the high side of the racetrack in that 10 car. But he's got to try something because running the same line as uh, the th five of Greer is not working. Really making some ground up there. Three and a half laps to go, and Scott Greer's on the cover with Wayne, or rather, Ward Emery, trying all over the racetrack to close that distance up and take a run at the leader. Three to go. Let's see if Emery gains some ground on the high side again. In one and two, he does. He gets right up alongside. But Scott Greer holds on to the number one spot. Holy mackerel. This is going to go right down to the wire, this time by two to go. And Emory is all over him like a cheap suit. Emory once again goes to the high side in one and two. And he gets just a tick closer. It's time for Emory to roll the dice because they're coming to the right flag. One lap to go. One to go. Rear and Emory to the high side of the racetrack. Hits the cushion and does not get as close as he did last time, but they've got another set of corners to cut. 
Here it is, all the marbles at stake right now as they come out of turn number four. Here are our winners, Scott Brown. Scott Greer, the Napa Auto Parts 5G. What a great job out there tonight. What a battle with Emory. I know you don't have rear view mirrors, but you must have heard him. Uh, definitely. Um, you know, that was a little technical out there to try and get to the bottom. Uh, that one restart where I started fifth, I think that uh, there was a bit of an advantage to, to start on the outside there. But, um, you know, I feel bad. I got into Drome a little bit at the start there. We were uh, both riding across the marbles there, but that was a lot of fun to race after that. Um, thanks, everyone, to come out. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, Rod Fair Racing, uh, the Napa car is uh, pretty okay right now. We've got a little bit of work to catch that 10. He's pretty good right now, but I uh, really appreciate it. All right, any plans for the weekend racing? You know, if it's hot, we might hang out in the pool, but otherwise we'll be at uh, ALH Speedway on Sunday. All right, how about it? The Napa Auto Parts 5G. Scott Greer, your winner. Great drive in the modified division here tonight.